Atmosphere. This episode is sponsored by Smile Design Studios. Smile Design Studios, family and cosmetic dentistry offers numerous treatments meant to maintain, heal, and customize your smile. Call us today at 281-969-7388 or visit our website at www.sdshouston.com. Houston Housewives of Finance. For more information on increasing your cash flow, becoming your own money manager, and to schedule your complimentary personal finance strategy, contact the Houston Housewives of Finance today at 1-844-700-4463. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832 What up, what up, what up, world? Welcome back to That Boom Bap. Shit, we ain't been here in a minute, but we back in this bitch. <laughs> What's up? I'm your host, Gary Lee, also known as G Hawkins. Now, look, folks, you can find me anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snap. Let me take this shit off. Snapchat, <laughs> at G Hawkins. That's G Hawkins with the Z. And I'm back in the building with the main rant man ring. What yo, up, yo, G? yo, 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 yo. What up, people? I see you, man. The blue and the white. I see you. Black and the red. I'm doing a little something, man. You know? Shit, Brendan Dunn for president. Fuck it. We we, we took it up at the end. Well, you know, for those who don't watch, man, if you're listening to us and you're in the Houston area, huh, it's talk about, about time it. that y'all uh, get out there, do something, you know, worthwhile with your time, and, and make sure y'all go to www. Uh, Brennan Dunn for judge.com. Check out his website. Check out what he's about. He's running for judge here in the city. Um, hashtag get it done. D U N N. There it is. Um, yo, man, like you said, it's it's almost been forever, Shit. man. Weather, weather's kept us from getting here. It's been some bullshit. Um, but <laughs> life at the same time. And we don't have to yeah. dive deep because they don't need to know that. All they need to know is that we're about that hard hitting, that back breaking boom bap on this show, my Yeah, team. man. And it hasn't been. Um, um, it hasn't been a, a, a quiet this, these past few weeks, you Indeed. know. Um, man, it's it's actually been really dope, you know. Uh, got a record from Evidence coming out next week. No, tonight, tomorrow, it drops tomorrow. Um, okay. Evidence, whether or not. Um, Dave East, Paranoia Two, yeah. Flames, and, like, and Dave got you, some dog. other stuff out right now as well. I feel, like Dave, he's got something else out. I dropped in my queue the other day. So Dave's doing some work, Yo, I'm going to tell you, man. He's like, working right now. I, I've been trying to be a fan. You yeah. know, if, if any of y'all, you know, has been riding with us for a minute, y'all know that, you know, I don't just hop on the next best thing, pause. Um, you know, I'm, I'm you got to earn it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got to bring it every time. And not to say that Dave East doesn't bring it. It's just It was just something about him that I, I just couldn't wrap my mind around. But that P2, shout out to my cousin Joey. He called me and told me I needed to get on it. He was like, yo, this one is different. And from the opening track, I was like, yo, this shit is pretty hot. If I halfway through the album, pause. We'll save that for later. But, um, yeah, man. Also, shout out to Planet Asia. He got a really dope album right now. Mm -hmm. Just dropped. Uh, got a feature with the God AZ, son. Yo, AZ ain't lose not a fucking stuff not one that's like his verse bodies just about anything that's that's out right now that's a, that's real so like good. his verse like it's, it's it's bananas <laughs> but the whole album is is really really dope shout out to tri-state the whole the whole crew you know what i'm saying um i really see the the west get ready to you know grab a hold and, and take charge of of, of hip-hop scene again real yeah, quick yeah. um we got some heat coming yeah we talked about it you already know. Yeah. So yo, I've, I've, TDE is on the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah the heavy. TDE tour, um, is is getting ready to pop off. I'm yeah. sure we'll be there when they make they stop through. Hell yeah. Um, but yo, man, just 
happy to be back behind the mic for a little while. That's now, what's up. Right? Well, let, well, let's get this in now. Folks, this is a special episode. We got some special stuff happening towards the end of this episode. So you want to make sure you watch the whole thing. We've got a new series coming to you. Are we on that, live? That we we're on live. Facebook we live? Facebook. Shit, it's popping oh, right now. Oh, shit. I did so not. It's all right. Hit the share button. Let me, let me go do what you need button. to do. So I'm going to talk I'll to y'all. I'll be slipping too. No, it's all good. We're all back. Right, we're right, we right, rusty. Right. So if you hadn't noticed... <laughs> We got fucking music rolling right now. We know we don't roll music this early in the show, but guess what, folks? It's Grammy week, right? Yes, sir. So we need to have these conversations. So we, we're talking about, damn, we're talking about 444. Flower we're talking boy. about, you know, Awaken My Love. We're talking about Flower We're talking about all the things that people are going to be talking about this weekend. We want to make sure we preempt that shit and have these conversations here on That Boom Bap. Because right, you right. got some pure hip hop in some of this. So this is what we're doing. So, with that being said, let's have the conversation, man. Um, let's talk Grammys before we get into our special special series, Respect the DJ. Yeah. Now, a lot of I put this shit on my Facebook earlier. A lot of people been I saw talking. That. Yeah, a lot of people been talking album of the year. Yeah. First and foremost, Lord, Lord Melodrama. That's the first and last time I mentioned that shit on this fucking show. <laughs> it ain't happening no more. So, moving forward past that. We're talking about Kendrick Lamar's Damn. We're talking about Jay Z's 444. Yeah, now, yeah. right now, I'm playing one of the hardest tracks off of that 444, and that's that Bam. Matter of fact, let, let's let this shit ride out just for a little bit. Shout out to Damian Marley and everybody in Kingston, Jamaica. Everybody, man. And, and, and tell me if I'm wrong. When when you got to this track on this album, mm -hmm. it was a break from the rest of the album. Everything else in the album is about empowerment, this, that, that. This one was like, nah, fuck what you heard. Fuck all this, this pretty is, shit, nigga. Ho. Uh, yeah, exactly. We back yeah. to some hove shit. And it's it's little it's little glares like this in the album that make it so granular at times right it's so much so complex in this album that I, that i understand why it's nominated for album of the year you know with this record right here this is one of those and don't you forget records you know what i'm saying like i'm, I'm gonna talk all, all this empowerment stuff but don't you forget i'm hove you know what i'm saying Let's exactly take off all the jewels all of that leave you know leave that on the dresser i'm still hove i will still get down in the trenches mm -hmm. and body all of y'all out there you know what i'm saying yeah, so that's what shit. them to me really stood for like don't get it twisted um but you know with 444 you know my, my stand still has to change because you know one thing that we got to keep in mind we're talking about album of the year and he's also up for best rap album yeah right and we're, right now we're discussing albums of the year mm -hmm. and you know like i said a few episodes back y'all could go check the records you know i'll post a clip later on tonight on on social but um, I, I feel like his album sparked a lot of conversation, not controversy, but conversation. Yeah. You said and, that during our live show. Yeah, yeah. and, and, and that, I still stand on that. You know, I think all the other artists are dope and, and they bring something fresh to the table. You know, I really like Bruno Mars' new uh, new joint with Cardi in the video. Uh, I thought that was, matter of fact, it, it had me thinking about my house party during uh, Christmas, no, well, right? Yeah, hell yeah, 90s thing. Yeah. So yeah, I agree to that shit. I agree to that. Now, and obviously, story of OJ. There's been one that was so timely because we actually got O.J. Simpson released from yeah, jail yeah, yeah. like <laughs> three weeks after that. the goddamn soul came out. Like, yeah. so it's like O.J.'s coming out. He's got a fucking theme song. And he's like, shit, I'm going to just chill with this football pension. So ain't nobody else getting none of my coins. I ain't killing nobody else. I ain't saying he did it. But I'm just saying. So, you know, that I ain't going to stick shit. nothing else up I'm not saying that exactly. he did that. But once again, dexterity. Mm -hmm. The, the tenacity of this album, the way it continues to push mm -hmm. and prime at you to change who you are as a person inside out, as well as reveal fuck shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Cheating yeah. and scandals and shit. So it's oh, a way of coming clean, man, on, on, on so many different levels, whether it's, you know, the marital situation or, you know, just like in the, in the, in the, in the opening song, Fuck Jay-Z. You mm -hmm. know, I remember when we was reviewing the album yeah. and he was like, yo, this was my way of, of just stripping everything down and, and, and being, you know, vulnerable, being bare enough to have this conversation. You know what I'm saying? So big ups to Jay on that. Man. Big ups to Jay. And speaking of coming clean. This particular portion of our show is sponsored by <laughs> Smile Design 
Studios. So, Smile Design Studios family and cosmetic dentistry offers numerous treatments meant to maintain, heal, and customize your smile. If you're not sure what you need, don't worry. Dr. Ellis and her team are happy to meet with you to go over your patient history and goals and offer you professional recommendations. Let Smile Design Studios make you smile. Call them today at 281-969-7388 or check out their website at sdshouston.com to schedule your appointment today. All new patients receive a free gift and $50 off your first dental treatment. Smile Design Studios looks forward to providing excellent care for you and your family. So, yep. back to this shit. Yep, yep. Um, just, just strong. Now, one of the big things that we talked about at the show, and mm-hmm. which obviously is appropriate for this Grammy combina- uh, conversation today, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, is the fact that it's going up against heavy ass hitters. Yeah, it ain't one no of slouch. the heavy hitters in there it, who was nearly neck to neck in the conversations between one versus two was Kendrick Lamar's damn album. Yeah, man. Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, it's well deserved. It's well deserved. You know, I I remember when I first got through this album, I was like, yo, he's the greatest rapper right now walking. Like he is the yeah. best rapper. Not realizing, shout out to my man Dane. You know, he he's the one who put me on. Like, actually, he he hit me with a text. He, he was like, "Yo, you figure it out yet?" And I was like, "What are you talking about?" He was like, "I'm, I'm gonna give you some time." <laughs> about a week later, I, I hit him up and I was like, "Yo, I still don't know what you mean." He was like, "You ain't listened to it backwards yet." What? <laughs> you know, like that was crazy. And he sent me title had um had a playlist where it was already backwards. So he yeah. sent it to me. So it's. I can't front, man. Like those two albums should be competing against each other for the for the for the spot. Um, it's hard to knock anybody who makes something so dope that you can listen to it in one form and then run it back in a different form. Um, Kendrick is blessed. He's extremely talented. He's going to continue to be a front runner in his game. Mm-hmm. Um, with a situation like this, I can only imagine. Actually, I can't imagine what he can do to come out. You know, of left field with something different. You know, yeah. coming off of uh, Good Kid, Mad City, uh, the Pimple Butterfly, Whew. and now, damn, like, and dude. don't, and not to mention Untitled. Even though those were the, yeah, scraps. yeah, yeah. And I, and I, I think I, I forgot where I was having this conversation, and I think it was, shit, it was probably with us. And I was like, Untitled was that album that the curator at the museum That's said, right. "You want to see some additional pieces? That's Come right. on I to this you. back room and start taking." the damn sheets off these masterpieces in the back room. Yeah. And you don't get that from artists. You know what I'm saying? Nah, so. not at all. And then, you know, the other thing that was really dope about this, too, is, you know, his singles that he released. Yeah, including um, this one. Yeah, including this one. Yeah. So DNA, <laughs> you know, I, I didn't really know how DNA would, would take to, you know, to the audience. Um, you know, the joint with him and Riri is, is, is dope for, yeah. for radio. I figured that would but do people well. people love this fucking DNA. Yeah. They love it. Yeah. Now, nah, DNA is hard. Let's let this shit rock out for a bit. Right this spot. Come on, man. Some of the hardest the shit crazy. out in 2017. The flow dog. is crazy, though. That shit made you want to tear up the fucking anything in your vicinity. Like them kids down in South Africa. Yeah. They tore up that goddamn H&M. They're probably rocking out to some DNA. Like that They shit probably was on. tearing it up while listening to DNA. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Tearing that shit smooth the fuck up. Yeah. Now, let's keep it a buck, though. Mm-hmm. Even Jay, Kendrick, yeah. they're going up against a fucking heavy hitter. Come on, dog. Bruno Mars. Let this shit rock out for a second. This is my happy song. Grammys 2018. <laughs> Shout out to my daughter, Gabrielle. She put me onto this record. Because she, she was playing it. Actually, we was in the car. She was like, can I play a song? And he was like, yeah. And she played it for me before he released it as a single. Oh, okay. Okay. And I was like, yeah. She was like, yeah, I love this song. You know, and, and it's crazy because um, shout out to my man, B. Terry. 
he sent me some some music that he's working on with it with it with his peoples and it's funny because today as it was before kids still kind of kind of determine how good a record is mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and, and my shorty she'll be 15 this year if i'm not mistaken right mm-hmm. so you know as a 14 year old she's like this is what's popping and sometimes you need to follow that right and then he releases it as a single and it just blows up like crazy I'm going to keep it real with everybody. Uh, I haven't listened to the album. Mm-hmm. I probably will now just so I can get an idea of what the what the, you know, what the hype is all about. Um but from your Facebook page, man, the streets, the streets. They they going with Bruno right They're now. They're like and I could understand it, man. When his live show presence that in collaboration with the way that he makes people feel in this music and yeah. to respect back to the 90s to yeah. have that that conversation with people who grew up in that time era that morris day era that grew up in that prince era yeah yeah you're, you're literally reaching back to those people and bringing them forward and that's some shit that a lot of artists who should be standing on the shoulders of people that came before them, yeah. a lot of artists ain't doing that shit. Well, you and know, this is exactly what they should be. You know, the thing about it, like, you know, I, I don't take into consideration your, your videos or your stage presence, your shows. I What I consider is the album itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, album of the year, man, like, you know, the, the sales and, 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 and the word of mouth, you know, that 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 holds a lot of weight to the Academy, you yeah. know, and, and, and what it does for the culture holds a lot to the Academy also. So, again, you know, people, you know, whether you're watching us, whether you're listening to us, just keep something in mind. Like this is this isn't a popularity contest mm, with, with the Academy, with the Academy, it. man, they're looking to see. You know, how did this piece of art, this piece of music, what did it do for the culture, for, you know, for society as, as, as a whole? So, you know, don't play your favorite cards, man. Like, let's just be real about it. So do I see Bruno taking it? You know, again, I didn't listen to the album, so I can't really speak on it. But I could say, you know, conversational wise, yeah. if, if that's even a word. We'll make it one we'll a day. We'll make one a day. We'll make it one a day. You know what I'm saying? I'm making them, <laughs> doing it. Yeah, I, I don't know about Bruno, but and and at the same time, mm-hmm. at the same time, all of them are up against the the now esoteric, sort of speak, uh, the the man of mystery, the international person. Yeah, none other than Childish Gambino, Mr. Donald Glover. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how we're gonna. I don't know how this is gonna play out because you know Grammy and the way that they vote for things, as you mentioned, it's it's not a popularity contest. It's so nope. different, man. You got fourteen thousand individuals who are literally voting on these albums with eight hundred, nine hundred submissions yeah. to get down to five. Let alone the issue with Tribe Called Quest. And we let, ain't even let alone speak on that, that shit. I was I was hoping that you would leave. I'm just saying that alone. And let sleeping dogs lie. Yeah, because I I have. I, I am a nose hair from calling a boycott. If Jay and 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 and, and Kendrick wasn't on that list, yeah, come on, man. Like, I look, I'm, I'm gonna call it how it is. I would boot, which I'm gonna call it off. I would take Lord. childish off. Fuck that. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Now you now tell me this. What do you think would happen if all top five was African American? Because that's what it, that's it, what it, it shouldn't, shouldn't be nothing. And it would have been all hip hop. Like they well, said, they said fuck every other genre. Yeah, this is a hip hop for 2017. That would have been dope. Shit. That would have been dope. Like <laughs> let's move the race out of the conversation, man. But you. if it was an all hip hop, that's what would have happened. That right? would have been crazy. It would, it, that's what would have happened. We, they we, we're nearly that, huh? We're nearly near. We, yeah. we're near that. Three out of you know three out of five. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Now, obviously, due to time, we're not gonna dive too deep into the the uh for rap right because you got rap best performances you got yeah. record of the year yeah. album of the year but we will list them so on the uh let me where the hell did my rap section go they um, uh, dance contemporary rock where my rap at alternative oh shit they didn't R&B, you. They, didn't put they, me down, you. they put me down to the bottom Trying so to keep the man so down son they got best rap song they've got bodak yellow in here chase me humble by kendrick sassy the story of oj but best rap album mm-hmm. 444 mm-hmm. damn mm-hmm. layla's wisdom mm-hmm. and something that we talked about but i couldn't quite express it because i didn't know how to so i'll just let the song express it itself 
You know, so Let's let this rock out for a bit. <laughs> we got a whole lot of new money, though. <laughs> if your metro don't trust you, I'm gonna shoot you. Hey! hey. Raindrop, drop top. You done learn how to do the thing? Cook it, fucking on your bitch, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot. Dot. Come on, okay, man. Nothing or something, nigga. Hey. I don't try nobody. Oh, words are you too? On tech, too, they got on tech. She's been affected. We're not going to go too hard because this particular portion of the show is sponsored by us right here at the Sphere. <laughs> so, are you starting your business or looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of individuals across the world to build your brand or sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at the Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dialogue, coupled with their strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789, or send us a bad and bougie email over to <laughs> advertise at the sphere. Dot TV. Yo. Uh, we're back. I can't, man. I can't. So, but, 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 but here's the thing. There was music that was my music that was coming out mm -hmm. when I was in the 80s, early 90s, and my parents was like, all this shit sound the same. Mm -hmm. And I was like, no, this is this artist. This is this artist. Mm -hmm. I could instantly distinguish these artists. Whereas now we're the old ones and we're like, all this shit sounds the same. And the kids are like, no. Nah, nah, this, this I, you artist? know what? I, I am in tuned enough because. And know, I'm not I'm, just talking about you. Nah, I'm just nah. talking in our, general. In general, yeah. us getting up in our 40s, we're like, I don't understand this shit. That's, that, the, that's normally what happens. Exactly. But see, here's the, here's the funny thing. A lot of these dudes actually don't sound the same. They don't. You know when, what I'm you, when you take, but the they just fucking garbage. Like that's the problem. <laughs> like, yo, come on, let's just call it spade a spade. Like, look, man, yeah. I, I don't really rock with other podcasts. I don't really listen to much Talk about in, you it. Know, uh, 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 other interviews and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not going in on these kids, but what I am doing is I'm respecting the the rules that was put into place. You don't bite. You don't sound like anyone else. You don't. You know, imitating. Don't you do know that. What I'm saying shit. like you, you have to. Write your own rhymes. Your DJ got to be rocking wax. Like, fuck all that CD and, and MP3 shit. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like, mm -hmm. the true essence of that boom bap, which we represent. Thank you very much. Thank we you. do. Thank you very we much. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it, it, it is what it is. And, and I ain't mashing on them, man. Like, I, I listen to it. You know, you go back a few episodes, you'll, you'll you know, hear me comment yeah. that I, I listen to it. They got good, really good production on the album. <laughs> Um, to me, what, what it made me question was, are they our, no, 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 are they this generation's DOS effects? Could be, or Tribe Called Quest. Cause he, but, but for the record, so no one get at me on Twitter or whatever, DOS effects didn't mumble. They wiggity and diggity. <laughs> it is what it is. But culture's going up against Layla's wisdom. Yeah. It's going up against... Tyler the Creator's Flower Boy. So there's a lot of heat. And of course, Damn and 444 are in this same category. I want I want Kendra to take this one. So we'll see. I rap think, album of the year. I think Jay should get album of the year. And Kendrick, and Kendrick, Kendrick should album. get rap album. That would be kind of dope. But it's, it's going to be fucking tough. But Grammys 2018, folks. Let us know this your weekend. thoughts. Let us know your thoughts. Hit us up. Make sure you shoot us an email. Boom bap at the sphere.tv. Or get at us on social media. At the sphere TV. Hashtag. Boom, bap. Shout and out to my fan, Mr. Vaughn. I see you, sir. What up, Vaughn? Word we up, man. You. See we you. see you, my G. Um, so, yeah. Facebookers, we about to cut this shit. We got something special. We let y'all know. We're about to hop into our uh, Respect the DJ series. So, basically, each and every week, we are, excuse no, me, no, no, each no. and every month. Let me get my shit right. Well, each we and we every ain't month, got the bandwidth to do that. Uh, we week. don't. <laughs> our goal is to bring you and premiere a DJ on this show 
We sit down and have an interview with them. Uh, we may even let some DJs spin. It just depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. But we just want to showcase and highlight DJs that are out here doing the goddamn thing. Right. So if you want to, if you have a DJ in mind that you want to get at us with, shoot us an email: boombap at the Sphere TV. Put in the subject title "Respect the DJ" and let us know who your nomination is for our Respect the DJ series. This is something that we take fucking seriously, right. and we're going to continue to do because it's about bringing you all the music directly to the culture. You know what I'm saying? Yes, so, sir. with that being said, Facebook, we got to go. Let you know. Head over to the website and subscribe. Go to Sphere.tv forward slash Boom Bap, and of course we've got options for you. And it you. don't cost you nothing. Like no. it doesn't cost you money to subscribe. It's for free, so you can catch us on iTunes, SoundCloud, Google Play Music, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, YouTube. We're across the world on all these platforms. And at the same time, share this out with your family, friends, colleagues. Share with your loved ones. Share with your side pieces. Share with your haters. Share with anybody and everybody. And give us that constructive criticism. We want to know how we're doing. We can't get better if you don't help us sharpen. Iron sharpen iron. So give us that constructive criticism. Let us know. We screaming in the mics. You need us to chill the fuck out. We cussing too much. <laughs> let us know if we need to have more interviews. Whatever you think, let us know. We want to build better shows for you. And last but not least, if you love what we're doing, donate to us. Go to sphere.tv forward slash donate. We got a couple of options. You got a single base donation as well as a Patreon based donation that's right below that. So And we're cool with the type of, you know, donations that jingle, but we rather get the ones that fold. There it is. Fold that know. shit up. So <laughs> Facebook livers, we love you. We adore you. We're about to hop in. I respect the DJ series. So make sure you tune into us right at the website. And that's at the sphere right so once again for those that are still tuned in you're rocking with us you've subscribed we are about to start the beginning of our respect the dj series this particular showcase is from none other than our main man mr turnpike sees known as dj caesar up north so sit back with us ride out with us in this interview straight from new york dj respect the dj caesar Welcome back to that boom bap. I am your host, Gary Lee, also known as G Hawkins. Of course, you can find me anywhere online, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snappity Chatting at G Hawkins. G Hawkins with the Z. I'm with my main man Reem, as always. Reem, what, what up? What up? What up? What up? You good, my dude? We made it, dude. We made it. We made it. And of course, things look a little different right now because we sit here with the Jersey native, the man that's killing Sirius XM Shade 45, the man Bring that's that work. killing that work. Boom up in Philly, yeah. none other than the international, yeah. the turnpike. Oh, wow. The, so, hey, man, we know it all. Yeah, that's a great intro. DJ <laughs> Caesar, what up, my salute, G? Salute, 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 what up, y'all? What up? Hey, hey, you know what it is, my G. Yeah. Appreciate you, brother. I appreciate y'all. No doubt, man. So uh, just, just real quick, obviously, we want to spend a few moments with you, man. We appreciate the time. And just kind of, one, reintroducing people to you. Okay. And then, two, talking about the things that you've got going on. Last time we met, mm -hmm. obviously, you were grinding hard. You were doing your thing at Shade 45, mm -hmm. and then boom, news hit that no pun intended, right. but boom, you were over at Boom in Philly, man. Yeah. So, but before we dive into that, let's take the people back a bit. Tell us what where you came from, what you were doing, what got you into this game. Uh, basically, my love for music got me in the game. Uh, how I got in the door is at the bottom of the totem pole internships. You know, I was going to school. Uh, applied for an internship in Philadelphia uh, for the station called 100.3 The Beat at the time. Okay. Once I got in there, uh, they told me, you know, if I keep grinding hard and working, they'll hire me. So I did that. And The Beat is out of where? It, it was a station in Philly, but that, okay. it's a no longer exists. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. So when I got in over there, I was a intern. Then they hired me as a promotions assistant. So basically one of the guys out there giving out flyers and hanging out posters yeah. for the station to give the station visibility or whatever, driving yeah. the jocks to their remotes and their destinations and all that. I was one of those guys. So you was like the original street team. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. real, for real. I came from the street That's team. That's the grind. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. The grind, the grind. So I was told by a, a very important person, like, yo, if you stay part of the street team for more than a year, I'm not going to look at you in any other light. Mm. So... 
I took that to heart because I felt like I was nice enough to be on the air. Yeah, yeah. So after my year, I quit. You know what I mean? I went back to New York, and I went back down to an internship. Mm. And the same thing happened. They said, well, if you kill this internship, we'll hire you yeah. as a board op. Board op is already means like you're in the door, so people, you have a, you can grow faster as a board op. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. So um, I did the internship, and then I was interning for Laura C. and Rude Jude over there on Shade 45. Those my guys. Yeah. My guys. Hey, yeah, man. You know what I mean? I showed them what I could do, and uh, towards the end of my internship, Laura Sear was like, look, uh, I'm going to give you 15 minutes on the drunk mix. You, you heard the drunk mix, I'll yep. give you more time. Damn. You know what I mean? yeah. So, you know, it was the, he told me that like on a Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Basically, I was going to DJ on a Friday night, so uh -huh. I didn't sleep that whole night. It was stress, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, damn, I got to make sure I show Going up. over mixes, yeah, with exactly. records, yeah, like, yo, I got to kill like, this. I got I to gotta body this, so... Uh, I did good enough for him to keep rewarding me, so my 15 minutes turned into 30, 30 turned into 45, and next thing you know, I was doing hour sets. He would go on an hour, and then I would go on another hour. Mm. So big up to Laura Sear for always, you know. Big up to Sear. We ran what up? Up. Yeah, we ran by him yesterday. Yeah, 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 he's the one that really opened up the door. Him and Rude Jude. So I, I owe my career, my serious XM career to Rude Jude and Laura Sear, honestly. And, um... Yeah, so how, how it happened was I was uh, board hopping for DJ Who Kids show. Okay. You know, the Hooli Was Shuffle or yeah. whatever. But he was starting to pick up more, so he couldn't be there at 10. Yeah. So he would always be like, yo, see, I need you to hold the music down till I get there. I'm tired, son. Nice. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, I was already, always had my book bag on deck. Yeah. yeah. Gotta be ready. Me, I'm, I'm on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what just so happened was I was uh, coming on the train from Jersey. And he calls me, and I would just thank God I had reception up because I was already on the subway. When you're on the subway, you ain't going to get yeah, a reception. Yeah. You know what I mean? So this call was meant to happen. Yeah, so is. he called me like, yo, C's, I need you to hold it down. I'm like, look, if you want to sleep for two hours and get there by noon, I'll hold it down the whole two hours. Don't worry about it. Uh -huh. He was like, I, I trust you. I'm going to sleep, man. I'll see you at 12. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was like, I had to be like 7, 8 in the morning when he called me. And, you know, that two-hour slot, he started coming in later and later. Like, man, he got it. He got it. And it turned into, I was rewarded my show. The weekend the work. The weekend work. Weekend work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, putting in that work mm -hmm. on the weekend. So I, I thank DJ Who Kid <laughs> for, for sleeping in. Yeah, for sleeping in and being busy, but also having the confidence in me yeah. to hold it down and not be a whack leading for him. You right, know what right. Because I mean? he's a very big DJ. So, you know, if I'm trying to keep the brand tight and keep it myself and still hip hop, I want to do what I can to make sure I'm a good lead into his show, and uh, it just so happens to be a blessing, man. You know, and the one thing I want to uh, point out the most is that it was a grind. It was a process. Yeah. You had to trust that process. Tr yo, you know what I'm hard. saying? And, and I think that's really important to shine a light on that part because mm -hmm. a lot of young people don't realize, like, yeah. yo, sometimes you got to humble yourself, do that internship, Definitely. and take it seriously, man, and make uh, sure that who you interning for, that they have a path for you. As long as you achieve your part and do right. what you got to do, I'll put you on. And that's yeah. exactly what you've been able to do. Exactly. Man. So See, what I, what I tell people about internships is, you got to really, really, like you said, humbling yourself, but you got to, like, take it humbly and smile with it. Mm, See, yeah. I was the type of intern that you sent me to the store. I ain't care. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you want that? You want me to go to Subway for you? Okay. No problem. Yeah. No, no, no attitude. No, no. Every day I would go to Subway or the store for people without a problem. I never got mad. You know, that ain't part of my internship. It wasn't part of my internship, but I'll you know do whatever game. it takes. Yeah. Yeah. In order to get rewarded. You get what I'm saying? Like, whatever it takes. I'll show you whatever. You need that sandwich? I'll go get that sandwich. You need me to, <laughs> you know, clean up the studio after y'all leave? I'll do that with no problem. Right, right. Look where Definitely. I'm at today because of that. Exactly. Definitely. You get what I'm saying? I ain't too proud to clean up. Yeah. You gotta be humble. Yeah, I ain't too proud to clean up, and I got rewarded. And because of weekend work, I got the call in Philly to do the afternoon drive over there. So let's talk about that a little yeah. bit. Obviously, you've been killing it for, for, for a great amount of time. Thank you. you. Obviously, producer Re is now part of that that team. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Coach. Coach Congrats on the on the sale of Burgundy. Yeah, you know, big so up shout Coach. out to that shit, yeah, man. Right. Uh, but talk about that transition. Obviously, you know, moving from satellite to terrestrial. Right. That's that's different, man. It's so way so, different. so get, you know, give us that game on that. Right. See when 
I, when I got the job in in Shade 45 as a board op and I got awarded weekend work, I had got another call from, there was a station called Hot 107.9 in Philly. That station no longer exists. Mm. So I was already doing terrestrial radio mm. and Sirius XM, but I wasn't on the magnitude I'm at now. Got right. it. I was part of a team. It was called the home team. So it was me, DJ Damage, Big Up the Damage, and Big Up the Mia Mendez. We was like the home team or whatever. Yeah. So it was two DJs and a female co-host. So I was already doing terrestrial, but I wasn't doing it alone. You know what I'm saying? So I did that for like a year. So then that station ended up folding, and I went back, and I started putting more and more emphasis into weekend work. So going back to... Terrestrial radio was just, it was like second nature because I already did it before, but never by myself. So mm. now that I'm doing the afternoon thing, it's it's just more highlight on me because it's just now me. Now it's just me. Right. You know what I mean? So I'm just, my ideas, and I got my own little team behind the scenes, and they help me come up with stuff. But when it comes to mixing the records, the content, it's just all me. It's, a, it's truly a blessing for us. Word up. That's what's up. So from for me, like my dad is a DJ, right? Still, still to this day. So yeah. my respect for the DJ is incredibly high. Mm. Um, you know how I came into hip hop and 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 the, and the principles and everybody's role they had to play mm. in the culture. So you know the DJ is king to me. You right. know what I'm saying? Definitely. Uh, so much respect for that. Salute. Thank you. Talk to me about how different it is to spin on satellite versus terrestrial. Is uh, it, are you just doing this t not to say you're doing the same thing but nah. are you spinning for different crowds like how, yeah, how different well, is that it's on shade 45 is like no holes barred yeah you know, so i can get be creative i have total creative uh progress or whatever you know what i mean they let me be me i could really play i don't have to abide by a playlist and on fm i have a playlist i have to stick to mm -hmm. i can break records but i have to play certain records after another yeah on shade 45 i could play unknown record after unknown record after unknown record after unknown who gives a shit nobody yeah. cares that's what they want actually from me yeah. You get discovery me? yeah they want i'm the guy that puts you onto the music then yes. you go to itunes and you go get it <laughs> yes what yes. i told you last time yeah. like i'm literally sitting there with a pen and pad every time you drop something i'm like well who the fuck was that, that? i gotta go google yeah, it. Yeah. Right. i ain't never heard this before yeah that's really my title over there that's been like next next February, if I'm not next February or March, it'll be five years of weekend work. Yeah. So that's five years of playing consistent unknown music. Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then some of the music that sticks out, I bring it back to FM. Like, yo, this they really like this record, so I'm gonna break this on FM now. And next, most of the picks I do, not all of them, but most of the picks, they end up becoming one of those big ass hits. That's you know what I mean? So the difference is, in FM, you're more playlisted. You have to play certain songs all the time. You yeah. know how they beat you down with that same hit all the time over here on Saturdays. I don't even have to play the same record I played last week. You don't? Right, right, yeah, I hear right. You get what I'm saying? I don't have to do that. If I choose to hit it, it's because I want to bring that song more attention or I really like it that much. Yeah. You know what I mean, it's just no holds barred over here. Over here is playlisted. And on FM, it's more party. People mm -hmm. want to party, dance, yeah. more for my women. Mm -hmm. And my Jamaica, I like uh, reggae heavy. Yeah, So I yeah. do more reggae over here, more R&B, more hip hop over here. It's hardcore rap. Slap your face off on Shade 45 right. bars. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's more over there. So it's two different sides of me, but I'm still keeping it real cool. Are you able to, you know, prepare for them differently? You yes, know? definitely. Okay. Definitely. On, uh, it takes me a whole seven days to get ready for that two hour show on uh, Saturday. Because really? I, the reason I, I say it takes me the whole week is because. I pride on not playing the same songs unless I really have want to. Because mm. in seven days with the, the internet today, you know, uh, so much music comes out every daily, like daily. Yeah. So I don't have to keep repeating songs. You know what I mean? So it, I like to weave weave out the, the bad ones and keep the good ones and then introduce them on Saturday. And so on. Oh, my bad. Go ahead, go ahead. On FM, it's more of the challenge over there is since I'm spinning every day at five. Mm hmm. It's like I can't have my Monday mix sound like Tuesday. Mm. You know, my Tuesday mix is not going to sound like Monday. You know, Wednesday's going to sound all different. Even though it's the same list, I got to be creative on making sure the mixes don't sound the same. If I'm on at 12, sometimes I'm filling in at, for the 12 o'clock mix. My 12 o'clock mix ain't going to sound like my 5 o'clock mix. You know what, man? Pause for a moment. Thank you, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah. Like, from somebody who be in a car 
you know, that, that jogs to their music, that be mm. on SoundCloud, that be on YouTube. Right. Thank you, bro, because yeah. I, I appreciate the time that you're taking to make sure of that because the one thing that we always hear is like, yo, I heard that shit five fucking times already. Like, right, come on, exactly. man, damn. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, I, I, I came up on the era of, of Jam Master J, of, yeah. of Legend. DJ Chuck Chill Out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? DJ Red Alert. Like, Legend. Red Alert. As a kid, like I couldn't have been no more than eight, nine years old. Right. You know what I'm saying? DJ Red Alert made me want to go be a DJ. Like, right. I thought that shit was fly because he was doing it, how he Definitely. was doing it. Who's who was your inspiration? I want to like say that? DJ Alert has the illest voice. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, right. like when he's DJing on any platform and his voice is, he calls himself the coolest DJ. Yeah. He does have the coolest voice I've ever heard in my life as a DJ. I can listen to him talk all day about whatever because his voice is just he was built for this djing game his voice is ill right i'm a big clue head yeah dj clue yeah he's panamanian right. i'm panamanian clue when i drive into new york city i listen to clue because clue went from mixtapes to fm but yeah. it's still clue because he's giving me joints i don't know mm. you get what i'm saying he's giving me joints i don't know so i take a page out of his book so when you listen to me, I'm gonna give you joints I don't know. Even if you're a DJ, you don't know this one though. Nice. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And now how, that's how I look at Cool. He giving me joints I don't know. So I'm gonna go back and give you joints you don't know. True. So I'm a big Clue head, and I've always been a funk flex head. That's just, that's just. That's just a given. Yeah. Just, yeah. I'm like, but Clue was my guy for unknown music, breaking records. That's, that's my so. man. Yeah. Clue fan. That's dope shit, man. Yeah. So in this transition stage, obviously boom has become a staple for you yeah. you know shade 45 weekend work you're coming up on five years yeah. uh -huh. talk to us a little bit about the future what what's coming down the pipe what can we expect from turnpike seat well now i'm on my i like to call it my phone flex my clue my drama and my Khaled page okay mm. talk about it break that what, shit down what what i mean by that is those are like mixtape DJs that turned themselves into a brand and artistry yeah. Yeah. you get what I'm saying so now I just dropped a record yesterday mm -hmm. on iTunes I call it girls I like featuring Skeleto big up the Merc Bees so that's the wave I'm on so 2018 I'm now going to drop my own records nice. featuring artists that I have access to and people that want to work with me that I want to create music now so that's where I'm going in 2018 and beyond I'm going to take the DJ Caesar brand yeah, he can. We know he can mix records. We know he can blend. We know he can rock parties. But now he's actually making records too. Go out there and support that. That's that's coming down the future. That's what I'm. Start that's what I'm saying. saying. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Now, when we start, when we start to see people like Pop Dollars, people that you've worked with in the past Definitely. as well. Yeah. I mean, y'all had some hits. Yeah. Now, Pop gave me a, a mixtape that I haven't even listened to because I've been working so crazy. Yeah. But big up to Pop Dollars. We got we got records in the tuck. I was just in the studio with Willie the Kid and V Don. Nice, man. Yeah, I, mean, I like yeah. that dude a lot, man. Yeah. I, I, fuck yeah. with, I fuck with him, man. That's, That's my man right yeah, there. Yeah, we got some joints in the tuck that I don't want to tell y'all about too much. Yo, you just lit a flame right <laughs> there, <laughs> man. Yeah, right for real. Yeah, Willie really got some joints lined up with V. Don. He got another project that he's got coming out with V, which is, it sounds amazing. Nice. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm locking in with producers that want to work with me. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Because in this industry, it's all about scratch my back I scratch yours or drop that bag yeah I'm yeah. not financially there to drop bags on a Swiss or I, I want to work with Swiss one day that's why I'm putting his name out there but I don't have Swiss bag right, and, and right. I don't have a relationship with him right right you know him or Timberland or RZA or those people I don't have a relationship with those guys so I can't really pay them up front but me and V Don are both trying to level up so let's level up together yeah sure indeed. you get what I'm saying I so I linked that. up with him and this is a dope producer called uh, Merc Beats. He's out of Jersey. Nice. He's the one that gave me my, my latest single, Girls I Like, which is on our tune, Good Plug Seeds. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I'm working with producers that want to work with me, and they understand, like, yo, if we do this together, the bags will come. Right. But right now, we have to grind it out until the bags get here. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Case in point, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, well, we do. how we how we here? So, it, how, oh, no, go ahead. Nah, go, go for it. it go for it. it. Mm -hmm. Um, should we might be on the same damn page, right, fucking around. Well. You know how we do. Um, how do people get their music to you? I 
what, as far as like un, unsigned hype? Yeah, because you say, you know, you're always looking for the new record. Right. You know, you're looking for it, but, you know, there's people out there looking for you. So, this is true. You know, how do they get their music to you to, to, to you know, be lucky enough to qualify to be on your mix? On right? oh, my mix. That's a great, great question because I pride myself is like, if I see an artist, if I hear an artist, as I say, I reach out to you. Like, mm -hmm. I like what you do. Let's work. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? I'm more that type. I don't want you to look for me because I feel like if your music is out there, I'm going to find it and I'm going to gravitate to it. I, I operate the same way. You I like I, I call it building up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I like to hear, I like to let it come to me. So then I'm like, you know what? The best example I got of that is, uh, is Conway. Con you yeah, know? Yeah. Bro, I remember the first time yeah. I heard Birdie yeah. and I tripped out. I was like, yo. That Sorry. shit was a smash. You know, and unfortunately, my first thought was, it's fucked up. I ain't going to hear this shit again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then I caught it. I think um, I caught it on YouTube after that. And then I was like, cool, long as nobody delete the shit, right. I got it. Because mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't think I was going to hear from him. You know, and then I started hearing about West Side Gun. Actually, yeah. I stumbled onto him mm -hmm. on, on title. I just looked. I saw the art cover, and I was like, yeah. they always got fuck it, why not? They always got dope artwork. Yo, and then from the first listen, it was like, okay, mm. man, I, I, I don't went over easy, yeah, but yeah. you know, they kept grinding, they kept putting out content, kept putting out content, yeah. kept putting out content. And now, you know, they, they where they are. Exactly. So I definitely feel where you're like, you know what, if you can get to me musically, then we should connect definitely. because it's, a, it's an organic thing. Exactly. I, I was actually one of the first supporters over there at Shade 45 to start playing Conway and West Side Gun. Mm. So when they actually got the deal and they put it on the Instagram, I went crazy with a Conway West Side Gun I Conway yeah. set. Yeah. I my OD because I'm like, this is all the stuff you're just catching up to and I've been playing. Right. You hear what I'm saying? Right. So that's how people can reach to me musically. Just have your own grind and I will find you. Mm -hmm. And I will tweet you or Instagram you. But it's got to be like, I like Nick Grant a lot. Yeah. I like Nick Grant a lot too. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Big up to Nick Grant. Was yeah. Fire. Yeah, yeah, so I reached out to his man's man, like, yo, tell son I'm looking for him. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I linked up with him. Yeah. And uh, hopefully I can get him a beat in, the, in 2018. Oh, for sure. And do a DJ Caesar feature with Nick Grant. He's ill. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that dude is super talented. Uh, Cream 2017 joint. Crazy. That uh -huh. shit is so crazy. Come on. Crazy. So, so crazy. crazy. Yo, matter of fact, I became a fan of Ben from off that record. Me yeah. too. I was like, wait a minute. Hold right. on, hold on. My theory <laughs> is if you got something that hot, there's a pretty be, good chance you had some, some dope shit prior right. to that. Pretty so I'll go dig in and catch up and be like, right. yo, then I'm hitting him up like, dude. We need this. Yeah. Yo, yeah. I, I hit him up like, as soon as I got through the whole Jaren Benton album, uh, Mink Coke Killer, right. shit yeah. is crack. Yeah. I yeah. hit him up, I was yeah. like, yo, we fucked up. Yeah. He was like, what do you mean? <laughs> like, that, this is the opening discussion. Yeah. Yo, G, we fucked up. Yeah. He was yeah. like, fucked up on what? Yo, we ain't. We didn't get through that Jaren Benton album. We ain't done no review. Yeah. I'm telling you, we it's fucking up. Yeah. And he was like, nah, nah, we can always do it. I was like, dude, we should have done yeah. it. Yeah. Like, it's too late. Yeah. <laughs> we need to do it now. Do it and then dope. once he, you know, gets through it, if he's just as excited, you know, sometimes he is, sometimes he's not. But on this one, he was like, yo, oh, it's fine. It's let's fine. do this now. Yeah, yeah son's high. I'm also on uh, Axel Leon. You know what it is? Yep. yep. Bars. Yep. Sway from the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, um, I think he's yeah. pretty dope. I'm, I'm, he's I, dope. I want to hear more from him. Though, he's dope. It said most of his music is on his SoundCloud. Yeah. So you actually have to go to him because it's not on the, all the blogs and all that. You got to go to his page. And that's, I do that. But I, like, I'm, I'm fine with that. And I feel like the BX yeah. has been on fire. Yeah, you know, Especially with Little Gordo Bobby. coming out. So uh, shout out yeah, to my yeah. mans. With uh, uh, Fred, Fred, Fred the God. Fred the God. Yeah, 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 man. Fred's family. You know? Yeah. So he's, I feel like the Bronx the Bronx has been on fire. with him? <laughs> word up in a good way you get what i'm saying yeah. something wrong with him in a good way his wordplay like, is so crazy yeah. nah, man son. It's, yeah. it's ridiculous it's like he see things differently nah man he's he's special yeah he's special i'm gonna work with him too yeah mm. i'm gonna work with him too so that's what's coming up for dj season man 2018 and beyond my own records and uh, you know i have dreams and aspirations of putting out my own album with all the artists that we named and other ones that I, I fuck with heavy, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm. That's the lane I'm going for now. Dude, I'm excited for you, fam. Word, so real, for real, word. positive energies yeah, to positive you, man. Energy, for real, man. for that's, real. That's, what's that's dope. Yeah, yeah, that's I would definitely be man. up at 12 o'clock Central Standard because yeah. now that I live in Houston, oh, it's you know, different. Over yo, there. if not, right. it fucks me up because I'd be like. Like the last Sean P record? Yeah. I was up at 11 o'clock thinking, all right, 12 o'clock, 
you know, a.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. I can rock it. Mm -hmm. So I'm sitting there trying to push play and shit, trying to find it. Motherfucking pop up comes up. You know, you're not allowed to listen to it <laughs> to 12 a.m. I'm like, but it's 12 oh, a.m. over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, let me. That's crazy. And I had to wait a whole nother hour, and I was like, D now I got it. Fuck y'all. <laughs> Damn it. You know what I'm saying? So I had it before any West Coast nigga got it, but it's but all good. good. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, for real. Yeah, man. What, last thing, obviously, we want to we want to once again thank you, my brother, for spending the time dropping the knowledge. Is there something that you want the listeners, the viewers to know about Caesar that other people don't know? One thing that truly sits strong within you that continues to push you every day to keep doing what you're doing. What would be that thing, man? Man, I'm pretty much an open book. I just want people to know that everything I'm doing or everything they see me, see me playing, I, I genuinely like. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I, I actually, I'm behind mostly everything you hear me play. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Some of the stuff that you hear me play that you hear on other radio stations, that's, you know, that's a given. That's a, that's a, that's a must be. I have to play that song. Mm -hmm. If you hear me talking more over a certain record and I'm bringing it back a certain way, then you know, hey, I really like this song. You should like it, too. Yeah. So it's just with me. I just want to uh, let people know I'm just, just genuine. Man. There you know it is. Man? Just keeping it humble and waving off. But definitely go support my record. Yeah. Right. Our DJ Caesar featuring Skeleto Girls I Like, produced by Merc Beats. That's us, the first of many. And uh, after the debut yesterday, man, it was it went up. Oh, and nice. Popping. It went up, man. I want nice. y'all, y'all to listen to it. Let me hit me back. Oh, let me know what y'all think. You For know. sure, man. Yeah, you know. yeah, it's dope. But that's what Said it is. That I done. done yeah. deal. We right. appreciate you, my G. Heavy. Appreciate the time, right. brother. Pleasure, man. Yeah, Ooh. all day. Thank you. That's what it is. Rock.